Welcome back to Genuine Cora guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make notifications in Java FX. So what we are going to make is when we click on this button, which is auto generated by NetBeans, uh, a notification, a download complete notification will be generated. The importance of this notification is that it is, it will auto hide after a certain time period, which can also be programmed. So let's see how we can do this and this notification is not built in into the built into the java fx package rather it is available through the uh, controls fx package which is an open source project for java fx to provide more ui controls and you can i will provide you the link in the description of this video for the java file and let's see how we can do this so i'm going to start a new project so it's a java project of course and java fx fxml application just like we do often so java fx notif i have already created a notification uh, project so let this be not so we got the yeah, fx not dot java and i want to close all other functions so i got this java fx not one and what I'm going to do is I am going to the controller and it means also already created a button and a bu handle button action so when the when I click on this button this button the handle button action will be called so let's first add the library so download this library from the link provided in the description so add jar folder and you will get three files and we want this controls fx in my case the version is 8.40.11 so that's it now let's do the coding so the notification can be created using the notification class provided in the package so notification it's not Java X dot management notification. I want notification notifications, which is the org dot controls fx dot control dot notification. So this is what we have imported and an object. So let it be notific notification builder equals notifications dot create so you can create a new object of this notification instead we can call this create method and we have a number of function to set so first I'm going to set the title of the notification and in this case let it be download complete so that is set and next thing we have to set is there are a number of function and I'm going to set the text and I'm going to add some text like save to you can give your own text here bar home bar downloads there is no bar home okay that's it and you can set graphic I mean you can set your own uh, icons or labels for this one and in this case I'm setting that to null and the next thing I want to set is hide after so you can give a duration after which the notification will be withdrawn from the display so I'm going to set the seconds and I want it for for five seconds and the position so the interesting thing about this notification from control FX is that there are actually 12 position possible so it's a baseline left and bottom left bottom right center center left and I'm going to set it to the top right in this case so it will be around here you can set it here 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 or anywhere you want so that's it we set the position and <coughs> you can give a even handler on this one we, uh, I mean new even handler so after the completion or after you click on the not after the completion after you click on this notification you can actually do something here so uh, when I click on this notification I want to display a message on the system dot using the system dot out dot print DLN so I'm going to set clicked on notification so that's it we set the position we set action 
and that's it that's how how about creating the notification and then this created notification can be shown by calling the notification builder dot show option so there are five shows as you can see and in this case if you call show confirm a question mark i mean a confirmation symbol will be added instead of this graphic let's see how this is working so i'm going to run the program so i got this and i am going to click this so you can see that there is a question mark and i got a beautiful notification so that's about the basic and le let me show you the difference between different show methods i mean there is show confirm and if i call show error if i call the show error then there is an error symbol so that's it the difference between this show error show information show warning is just in the icon so instead of that instead of that i am going to set a graphic on my own so on, in the previous case i have downloaded a an image and used it here i mean this is a small tick.png i'm going to paste it right here so i got it here so this graphic takes a node value i mean uh, the graphic node graphic so we can use any node here you can use labels you can use even list views here i'm going to use an image view and I'm going to create an image object image img is equal to new image and since the image is in the default package I can access but access it by the slash operator slash small take dot png so the image is now loaded to this image object and I can I have to use an image view in order to hold the image so it's image view and I'm going to pass this IMG so that's it so far so good let's run the program so now you, uh, I'm going to click on this button so the download complete is visible so when I click on this click on notification the event handler is working so that's it that's how you use the notification notifications from control effects guys and one more thing I have to show you is the option available in this notification builder dot dark style if you set it to dark style a dark theme will be used for this kind of notification so let's run just run the code and let me show you the difference so now it's in the dark theme so that's pretty much good that's pretty cool actually and one more thing i have to show you is the position dot instead of stop right you can use cool positions it is top left and top left so let's run the program So that's it it's on the top left right and that's it and one more thing is uh, normally the notification should be created when the application is minimized suppose i am actually downloading something and, and after the completion of the download i want to show the notification here when i am doing something else so let's see if how we can implement it. so so i'm going to write a new thread class my downloader downloader extends I'm going to extend the thread I hope you are familiar with the Java thread public void run so whatever I put inside this run will be executed as a thread that means asking for the override method and an annotation so that's fine I'm going to place the notification here and it's okay and one more thing I want I am going to use a thread or sleep actually here instead of this method you can use your own method I mean if you are downloading something you can replace this thread or sleep with the download code I'm actually what I'm actually doing is creating a thread and making it sleep for five seconds and after the five seconds I'm checking whether the notification is visible even if my application is minimized so there is one more problem you can actually call this notification builder dot show method inside a thread because this thread is separate from sep this is separate thread from the UA thread you can only make changes in the user interface from the main uh, I mean Java FX main thread so that can be I mean if I run this program now there will be an error so uh, no I'm actually I haven't called the thread what I have to do is after the initialization of the program 
or not here here after clicking on the button I am starting a thread so I am going to start my download I mean the fake download download or store start so I have started the thread and let's wait so I hope the thread is started and I am going to minimize this and after 5 seconds it will throw an exception so there is an exception it is saying that not on fx applications thread because this is separate thread as I have told you later before so and a method to overcome this problem is platform dot run later and new runnable this will post this code that is put inside this run onto the main thread so the issue can be resolved by this method so that's it so now we have we are on another thread and after the completion of the download we will get a notification okay so now let's run the program I'm going to minimize it I'm going to do something else so like coding and yes that's it the download is complete so that's it guys that's how you implement a notification using controls FX. like the video if you like it subscribe for more cool videos thank you